Welcome to this week's School of Real Madrid video where we discuss Santiago Solari and what he brings to the table for Real Madrid. Before we get underway, just wanted to let you know that our video production is a bit lower than normal this week and that's because our video producer Kartikai is actually away. So we had to do with what resources we had for this week and next week we'll go back to our dope video productions. Nevertheless, we hope you enjoy this one and thank you for tuning in. Santiago Stolari has about 15 days to prove he can turn Real Madrid's season around, at which point the club has to decide between inking him to a permanent deal or bringing in another name. Many feel Solari is just a transitory coach, a mere caretaker who will go back to coaching Castilla after the match against Celta. But what if, what if he blows us all away in the next few games and stays until the end of the season? Is it possible? First, let's go back to the beginning and examine Solari's journey. In January of 2016, after coaching in the youth ranks of Real Madrid for three years, Solari was promoted to manage Juvenil A, where he briefly coached players like Lucas Zidane, Ashraf Hakimi, Manu Hernando, and Oscar Rodriguez. At the end of the season, Solari was promoted to manage Castilla, where he's remained until now. The first two seasons of Solari's Castilla career were largely underwhelming. Primarily playing a 4-2-3-1, Castilla never got promoted to Segunda, and Solari could only come away with a 37% win ratio, which was one of the worst in Castilla history. This is all despite having players in his team like Alex Febas, Martin Odegaard, Alvaro Tejero, Ashraf Hakimi, Fede Valverde, Mario Hermoso, and Philippe Lienhardt, just to name a few. Solari has, over the course of his first two seasons, attempted to reinvent players. The most famous example being Sergio Diaz, the Paraguayan striker prodigy who scored goals immediately upon entering Castilla. Shortly after Diaz's quick success with Castilla as a striker, Solari deployed the Paraguayan to play out wide as a two-way winger who had a lot of defensive duties. Diaz just couldn't adapt and he hasn't scored a goal or grabbed an assist since that repositioning back in 2016. He's also had big injuries since, which skews the stats a little, but it's clear Diaz has taken a hit to his development just because of this failed reinvention. This season, Castilla have looked much better under Solari, but even that may be misleading, as Vinicius Jr. has earned the team a lot of points on his own individual brilliance. For example, against Atletico B, Castilla had a lot of difficulty breaking the opposition down, as the Roji Blanco pressed well and denied space. It was Vinicius who popped up with two golazos to help the team earn a draw. It's not all negative about Solari though. Some of his reinventions have worked. Last season, Luis Miquesada, who started his career as a left back, was pushed up the field to the left winger role where he put in some beautiful assists and crosses. This enabled Sergio Regulion to enter the team as the team's left back, which then allowed him the chance to play his way into the senior team. Also under Solari, Castilla's defense has been consistently good even when the team hasn't played well as a whole. Javi Sanchez, Sergio Reguilón, Manu Hernando, Sergio Lopez, and other defenders have all excelled under the Argentine. Solari has also had the difficult challenge of seeing wholesale changes to his team year after year, as Castilla is generally a place with a lot of player turnover. Furthermore, Solari is a class act and well-respected person and coach. The media, the players, and his peers all like his character, and he's a good man-manager who's not afraid to be assertive. Given those traits, it's not inconceivable Solari is able to coach himself into a permanent role and prove many people wrong. Thanks for watching this week's School of Real Madrid video. Please make sure to like us on our social media, check out our online store, and if you really like our work and want to contribute video ideas, support us through Patreon.